Hey everybody, I've got another great tutorial on how to use ZBrush. Now, anybody who uses, you, who uses ZBrush loves to create subtools. Having a simple object like this, a simple sphere, selecting a portion of the sphere, and then uh, you know extracting the mesh out to create new geometry for whatever you are planning to do. Now, what's really cool in the latest release of ZBrush, ZBrush uh, 4R2B, is the um, there's a little bit more involved in extracting uh, subtools. And let me explain. Okay, here is our well, wrong material. Hold on. Okay, basic material. We just created this, and we're trying to make um, a happy face. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Free hand. Okay, there's our happy face. And we want to make a subtool. So, we go into our subtool palette and then go down to extract. And what's cool about this is you can choose your thickness, um, negative or positive and you can press extract and it shows you what you're going to extract but you're not stuck with that. In the latest other versions you know if you didn't like what you saw you'd have to go to your subtool palette and select the mesh that appeared and have to delete it then go back and um, reselect your geometry and try and uh, get something um, more appealing and what's nice about this is you can it, it's a preview that you can look at and like no nah, I, don't, I don't really like this so I'm going to zoom in a little closer just to make sure it's I, I want more of a more of an extraction so you increase that and okay oh now I've got the other side so I don't like that either too so you oh I've got my yeah, my bad. Okay. <clears throat> so once you have your selection, the, the selection that you want, you can extract. And okay, now I like that. And then you can accept the changes. And when, here I'll do it up here so you can see the original subtool, it, it's still in preview mode. And if you like what you see, then you can accept. And then it extracts it out as a new subtool. And isn't that so exciting? For anybody that uses ZBrush, that is the coolest thing, and I'm so excited Pixelogic was able to uh, apply that in their latest release. So, nice. Okay. Thanks, everyone.